Hello friend, I'm so glad you're here. If you are returning, then welcome back. Thanks for coming back. And if you are new here, then hello. I am Anna Real and this is Real Talk with Anna Real. It's all about personal growth and understanding who you are because I, that is my passion, to help people learn more about who they are and learn how to apply that knowledge for personal growth and goal success. Today we're talking about three simple ways to strengthen your relationships. Now note that I say simple, not easy because though these may be super simple concepts depending on you know how long you've been in old patterns with certain relationships it may take some time and practice but trust me it will be totally worth it so let's get real The first simple way to strengthen your relationships is to appreciate and encourage. See, it's a really simple concept, but how often do we forget to do that? It doesn't even take much. It can be something as simple as saying, thank you, or good job, or I appreciate you, or hey, you're really good at that thing. (laughs) But you know, say what they're good at instead of just saying that thing. Sometimes different people respond better to different kinds of appreciation, and so that's why I highly recommend this book, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Now this is the singles edition, so it doesn't just talk about romantic relationships, but other kinds of relationships in your life as well, you know, such as friendships. But knowing someone's love language will help you to be able to communicate love and your appreciation in a way that they will really receive, you know, that it's in a way that will make them feel the most encouraged. So the first way to strengthen your relationships is to appreciate and encourage. Remember to pay attention and look for opportunities to appreciate and encourage your friends. The second simple way to strengthen your relationships is to learn how to say no. (laughs) Now you may be thinking like, wait, aren't we learning how to strengthen our relationships? So shouldn't I learn how to, you know, like be there more or, but the thing is you can still always be there for someone and still have boundaries in place. You don't have to say yes to everything. You sometimes have to say no to take care of yourself. Know when it's okay to drop everything to help out a friend and when it's okay to say no. You need to take care of yourself. You're not going to be much good for anyone if you're not taking care of yourself. You know, if you're that friend that's constantly helping everybody out, you are going to burn out. So take care of yourself. Remember to recharge and you do that by setting healthy boundaries in your relationships. There's a difference between always being there for the friend that needs you and literally always being there for the friend who thinks she needs you all the time. Sometimes you just gotta let that little baby bird fly on its own. It's okay, they'll be okay, I promise. (laughs) It's even good for them. They need to learn how to solve problems on their own. You know, we need each other, But there's a problem when we need each other, you know, when you, when this dependency happens. There's a problem if you think their lives are going to completely fall apart if you're not there for them every single second of every single day. So you're actually helping them by you setting boundaries. You can also be a better friend by having healthy boundaries in place. This protects both you and your friends and this will create a healthier relationship. The third simple way to strengthen your relationships is to get to know them on a deeper level. Have you ever had that friend that you are around all the time, you're always doing stuff with them, and then you realize one day, like, I don't know a single thing about them. (laughs) Like, I don't know their favorite color. I don't know their hopes and dreams. I don't even know much about their family. They're just there all the time. And (laughs) there are those friends that we do stuff with all the time, but it just doesn't really get past the surface level. So I challenge you to start asking some questions, maybe even make it a game or share your heart with them and tell them that you want to get to know them better. It feels really good to know that someone truly wants to know you and getting to know your friends on a deeper level will create a bond like you've never had before. So there you have it. Three simple ways to strengthen your relationships. One, appreciate and encourage. Two, learn how to say no. And three, get to know them on a deeper level. Perhaps one of these points especially hit home for you today. Maybe you're thinking, hey, I I don't often show appreciation or encourage my friends or I do really have a hard time saying no to my best friend or wow, I've 
been friends with this person for 10 years and I don't know a single thing about them. <laughs> so I urge you to take at least one of these things this week to work on in one of your relationships. If you enjoyed or benefited from this video, then put that tip number one into practice and show some appreciation and encouragement by hitting the like button and clicking subscribe. And then comment below so that we can get to know each other on a deeper level and strengthen our relationship. <laughs> and until next time, keep it real. <laughs>